the 17th Earl of Derby was not a born revolutionary, he was a Tory grandee of the old school um, and you wouldn't have him down as one of life's game changers but that's absolutely what he was in terms of the stud he left behind. He started building up at the end of the 19th century with his father and every stud all around the world today is saturated with bloodlines from that stud. Yeah, for a long time people would have said Hyperion was going to be his greatest legacy and he was a dominant stallion both sides of, both sides of the Atlantic after the war. But gradually it's become clear that there was a surprise package of Phalaris, a horse that not many people even today know a great deal about uh, in the mainstream, but the Phalaris Sireline has wiped out just about every other one in all the mainstream pedigrees. So I've taken a look at the personality of Lord Derby um, and how it fits in with this, this unexpected, this paradoxical legacy he has as a great game changer and some of the horses of course centred on Phalaris who I've called the square root of everything.